Well, it, it matters because it makes us distinctive. Um, it, the, the degree to which it matters is reflected in the fact that there's something like three or four thousand words in the English language that are about personality characteristics. So it's something that is uh, intrinsically interesting for human beings, and I guess that goes back to the earliest points in our development, where being able to sum somebody else up it was fairly critical to your survival. You have to make judgments about people and differentiate what they could and couldn't do and how much of a threat they might be. So it mattered at that time like that, but I mean, the same sort of uh, reasons apply today in trying to help people develop their careers, maximize their capabilities and to fit into organizations and to perform successfully. And personality or the consistent biases, I suppose, which uh, restrain people's behavior um, are important in that sort of context. So personality is important at that end from a sort of consumer point of view, understanding what goes on, what makes a person and what goes on between people. At another level, it's interesting because it's uh, an aspect, an important aspect of our understanding of human nature. So it goes both ways. There's a kind of a, a leading edge day-to-day -day application and usage, and it permeates everything that we do. Um, and at the other end, there's, I suppose, a more philosophical view about, well, what makes a human being? And uh, you can't really get into that very much without considering individual differences, personality, temperament, and what makes people do what they do.